before Benjamin got signed, were you at all part of the recruiting process for Jimmy Graham? Huh? Huh? I don't want to talk about how I failed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to. I'm not. I'm not talk, ready to talk about Come these on. failures because I was like, fault. I was like one for four in recruiting. Alex Okafor came back. You know, I mean, I, I I'm just shooting out whether I had any influence or not. Who are the other ones? Uh, you know, you talk about you talk about my guy Jimmy Graham. You know, that was my my guy when he was back part of the Saints. Did you think um, you had him? Still my guy. Um, I got nothing but love for him. Uh, I was hoping so. You know. Um, I don't know what goes on financially speaking in terms of contracts and negotiations, but clearly something fell through because, you know, I'd like to say he was sort of excited to come back um, to reunite with, you know, his airness, Drew Brees. Um, you know, anytime you can have a, a, a tight end of that caliber, it, it becomes special. Um, I, you know, I, I got, had the pleasure of uh, just haphazardly Meeting up with Ndamukong because I was, you know, working out while on his visit. I see air quotes huh. for those on the radio. <laughs> yeah. Air quotes, working out. We're working out. You worked out together. I mean, you know, uh, he just What's caught me deal? in the middle of, uh, you know, I was like, hey, you know, with the with the massive interior presence, uh, you know, just think they can't double team both of us. You know, what um, do you say to that, Aaron Donald? You can't. You can't. You know, you got to focus. I, I don't know. You know, he he wanted a, a clearly another uh, massive presence on that interior line, and um, kudos to him. I failed there too. Uh, <laughs> who, else? Who, who, who else? You're <laughs> um, not the GM. Uh, yeah, you know, but I feel like I feel like you know, in terms of defense, I thought I could be uh, maybe a, a presence that he'd like to uh, uh, come towards. Uh, anyways. Anyways, um, so what is that, one for three? But you, you did get Drew Brees back. That was Congratulations a, on that. Didn't have any recruiting involvement. Was not a tweet, not a, not a wink, not a hey, are you coming back? Did it you was, think at all no. when it went all like, I mean, look, it got to the point where he was allowed to talk to other teams. Uh, his legacy of winning a Super Bowl, um, his, his work that he's done in the city since 2006. Mm-hmm. Um, that's that's twelve years. So you, you want to go somewhere else to sort of restart that? Stop it. Um, when you heard the forever Vikings who that. reached out to Tom Condon, who cares? Okay. Yeah, who cares? Um, Drew said he was coming back, and the Saints said he was coming back. So um, whether they were open up negotiations for other teams to come in and talk or not, um, I feel like they had their own special agreement. So I wasn't worried. All right. So you know that players, you, you can't tamper, I right? I don't know Coaches can tamper. Can they? Players can't. How do, how do players tamper? Well, for example, when Todd Gurley says, hey, sure, I'd love to play with Odell. That's not tampering. Right. Okay. So would you recruit Odell oh, Beckham Jr.? Coaches can't tamper. Right. Players, coaches, so a coach or a GM. Right. Like John Dorsey can't come say, on and I say, love, you know, uh, yes. Earl Thomas going to, you know, Dallas coach. Correct. Come get me if you can. Exactly. Okay. But you can. So would you, would you, considering your great success record, a couple of weeks ago, would you go after Odell if asked to recruit? Um, you know, uh, I feel like Odell's from Louisiana. You know, went to LSU, a homegrown just product. To make connections here. I'm simply saying, you know, Odell knows. You know, if he he wants to come home, we always gotta. You know, there's gonna be a spot for him. Um, I don't know if we can afford him uh, at his <laughs> his, his uh, going rate, but you know, I, again, I have no part in this financial. But you know, we always got a home. Just think, Mike Thomas and Odell together. That would be pretty nasty, you know. And now, uh, you know, Benjamin Watson and uh, you know Alvin Mark, Kamara, Ingram Mark Ingram and Ingram. Alvin Kamara, and uh, you know, we got to, we'd have some some serious uh, firepower. Not to say we already don't. Better luck recruiting next time. You it's know, it's gonna for, happen. You know, um, you know, the the next year there's another there's another chances. You know, um, I'm sure that. You know, this draft process coming up, hopefully, you know, I can't even say who I want to get because um, normally I don't have an opinion. I just accept it for what it is. Say it. Um, two years ago, I, I was like, I just assumed we were going to get my guy, Sheldon Rankins, and we did. Um, so I appreciate that one. After looking at, uh, you know, some of the younger guys coming through, an heir apparent uh, could be made. I'm just simply saying, you know. You're saying a quarterback? I, I just am going to leave it at heir apparent. You want to name the quarterback? 
Um, Sheldon for, Rankins for came from Sheldon Rankins for came those from the listening school on the radio. I think I saw Lamar Jackson. <laughs> I I don't. I said my guy Sheldon Rankins came from Louisville. Right. Um, it wasn't a bad choice. Yeah. Interesting. Um, so you know, I'm not saying that there's a connection there. I'm just not saying that there wouldn't be in my mind. I don't know. I don't know. Again, I'm just uh, I'm just a guy. The Rich Eisen Show weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.